Hello, Editing Chan here. <laughs> I apparently did not record an intro to this, or at least it wasn't a good intro. It was very chaotic, <laughs> and I don't don't like to start the vibes of the video like that, so I am recording a new one. I am Chan, you're watching Made by Chan. Please don't let this be the impression for all my videos. <laughs> uh huh. What did, what's this? <laughs> Today, I am making the Lydia Naomi Dream Frock, aka Milkmaid dress. The goal was to make the dress in one day because I had been invited to my cousin. Her children had a recital that day and I wanted to wear the dress to their recital. That did not happen. <laughs> but <laughs> I did finish the dress and I wanted to show you all. <laughs> so that's what this video is. I think what I said, well, just watching the footage, I cut the dress out beforehand, but I still need to cut the skirt out. So that is where we're about to pick up. Enjoy. That pile of fabric over there, that is <laughs> the bodice. And then this right here is the skirt. I have lengthened the skirt by about six inches because I want a little bit more dramatic with the length so the slit looks a little little bit better versus the short skirt which i was going to do at first i'm using this rayon by rifle paper co which is really cute um this is not the appropriate width for <laughs> this um fabric but we're making it work they so she suggests like a 56 to 60 width and this is a 44 to 45 so I've already put my fabric, I just gotta cut this out and then we can put the whole thing together. I am lining the bodice, but with the same fabric and I'll show you all the mods I've made to the pieces. But I gotta refill my water bottle <laughs> and then we gotta get going. It's 12 o'clock. I wanted to make a stop. Let me, hold on. It's noon. Yes, it's exactly new. <laughs> I did want to make a stop before I went. So my cousin and the recital was about 30 minutes from me. It's not, um, it's not in the Dallas area. So it's gonna take me 30 minutes to get there. The I, doors open at 5.30, they go on stage at 6.10. Um, I did want to make a stop at the fabric store that I get my Rifle Paper Co. fabric from. I don't know if we're gonna have time to do that, <laughs> but. <laughs> So I have to be, if I want to do that, I have to be done by 3.30. So we'll see. Depends on where I'm at with the dress. Thankfully, I have made this before. I've made several toiles, so I know how to make it. And I've made a wearable toile, which you've seen if you follow me on Instagram. I don't love the wearable toile. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> I think I'm going to rip it apart and fix it. We'll see. But let me show you all the mods I've made to the pieces. This is the breast cup and I have deconstructed it just a little bit. <laughs> so I have taken the armhole in about an inch because if you're if you're new here, I usually have to make a narrow shoulder adjustment. So this kind of helps move the, sh the cup, the cup, the sleeve <laughs> in a little bit. And then I had to redraft the bus cup because she drafted it for a A to B cup. I'm a double D, so um, I just found out my boob radius and then expanded it that much. I just added on, I think, an inch or three quarters of an inch. I can't remember because I did this like two weeks ago. <laughs> um, and then I added a little bit more um, depth here or length here just so that it lies a bit flatter on me. So I dropped down the bus cup basically. And then I also took that away from the... This is the this is the front um, bodice piece, so I just dropped it down like all the way on both sides, just so I dropped it down about half an inch, just so it lies a little flatter. And then this is the back side bodice piece, and I took out half an inch on this one so that it lies a little a little more in towards my back, like towards my back versus more in towards my arm side. So those are the mods I made. And then this is the arm or the sleeve. <laughs> you can tell I'm trying to rush. <laughs> this is the sleeve piece. I didn't add anything to the actual sleeve, but the actual uh, fabric I cut, I just added an inch of fabric towards the bottom because on my 
what's it called? My wearable 12 or my wearable sample. I found that it was riding up a lot into the armpit and so I'm hoping that adding on a little extra length and lowering down the elastic casing will make it stop doing that. We'll see, I could be wrong, but we'll see. And I already said before that I added six inches to the skirt pieces just to make the slit more dramatic because I think the slit doesn't look good with the mini skirt. So those are all my mods and I just needed to cut the skirt out. I have pinned my bodices together. I'm gonna do a sew up the edges. I also did the straps. Uh, to flip them, I just did the straw method where you like put the straw in and then shove. I used my loop turner to be my interior to like flip it inside out. That was perfect. So yeah, sew up the bodices and then I'll start working on the cups. Okay, I've got the cups together completely. I don't think I'm gonna finish this in time, but we're gonna try our best. <laughs> so, <laughs> I've got the cups together, I've got the ties in, and then I just added the gathering stitches across the bottom. So now I just need to gather them and put them into the um, bodice pieces. And the bodice is the longest part. I just don't, you know, just don't think this is gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> so, but we're gonna try our best, and if not, I think I have something else to wear, but we'll see. Hello. <laughs> so, I'm back home. It's a bit later in the day, <laughs> and I did not finish my dress in time. <laughs> Nowhere near. <laughs> I got, I made like a mistake and had to seem ripping, so I was like, oh, okay. Um, but that's fine. I wore something else. I was actually ended up being kind of happy I didn't wear my dress because the temperature dropped. <laughs> like it was 80, like 86 when I left. And then when I came home, it was in the 60s. So and it's supposed to be cold tomorrow too. So it actually ended up really working out because I did wear a dress and I ended up being cold when I was leaving. Thankfully I had a jacket on. Um, but I'm just getting, oh, little snack. <laughs> Some uh, non-dairy Ben and Jerry's. So, um, so what I've done thus far is attach the bodice. I did make it really far on that. All the gatherers are down and I got the lining down. I do need to understitch. But once that's done, all I have to do is attach the sleeves. So, did make a lot of progress. <laughs> okay, let's go back to the sewing room. This is the front. <laughs> I need to um, also top stitch all along the bus cups just so it looks a little neater. But got my lining in. Got lining on this side. I also don't know if I showed you, but I got the ties in too. So there's that. And then she attaches, I talked about this earlier, she attaches the uh, bus cups individually like each set to a side and then sews it. I'm not trying to do that much gathering. <laughs> so what I do is sew it all to one side and then sandwich it all in the middle and then put the lining on top and sew it down. So then, and when I'm sewing it down, it's just I sew it from the center all the way to the armhole, skip the armhole and then go along the side back seam. And then I do that on the other side as well. And that works just fine for me. And then if you're like, Chan, but we have this big hole right here, this like, because it hasn't been attached, that'll get solved for when you flip it and you just attach the sleeves right here. And that's what you would do anyway. So it works itself out. But I'm going to understitch and top stitch where I need to. And then I think I'm gonna call it a night. I just realized I did all that talking. I did not tell you about the recital. It was very cute. <laughs> they, it was so cute. They're five and they had a little tutu. My cousin says it's okay, I'll put in a little footage. But um, I had a little tutus and little top hats. It was 
adorable. And they have a little brother and he got very excited <laughs> as well. So it was very cute. Um, so maybe you'll see it, maybe you won't, but I'll probably post a little sneak peek on my Instagram. <laughs> but so cute. I don't know if I've acknowledged this yet. It's the next day. Um, I, I see that I have mostly made blue items this year. <laughs> And you see, you see the color of my shirt. My sweatpants are also this color. <laughs> and my dress. <laughs> and the funny thing is, like, every time I'm about to buy this color, I'm always like, I don't know if it's going to look good. I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> you love this color. So we're going to try and make something that's not blue next. No guarantees. <laughs> but my favorite colors are white, yellow, and blue. So, okay, hold on. <laughs> yellow. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just this shade of blue. I also like a tealy turquoise. So, you know, that's what your girl's doing. All right. I have finished the bodice for the most part. So I did my top stitching. It doesn't look the best, but, you know, she's trying. Um, and then I did my um, under, understitching. Is that what it's called? I know it's not kind of underscoring, even though I keep wanting to say that. Understitching. You know, when you when you sew the seam allowance to the lining, <laughs> I did that. And so next I just have to work on my sleeves. So I need to serge the end of the sleeves and then put the elastic, like sew the elastic chain. I gotta serge the end and also the side seams now that I'm thinking about it. Okay, I'm gonna do that. And the, actually I need to serge the whole sleeve. I'm just thinking about construction in my mind. So she does something, she's two methods. Both are interesting. <laughs> Here's, here's what I've not been saying. <laughs> um, I think, I think a lot of times, like, I don't mind instructions or video only because I do better with some visuals sometimes. I do like pictures, but visuals are helpful. Um, and like sometimes I just, I just wish the order of the directions and instructions were in different places. And this is coming from someone who writes documentation for a living. <laughs> so <laughs> it works in a very technical job. <laughs> so I'm not a technical document writer. That is an official title. That's not my job. So sometimes I like watch the whole thing and then I'm like, well, this would be easier if you just put all these steps here. So I have to like watch it a couple of times and be like, okay, this is where we're going. So just remember ahead of time, you have to do this there and whatnot, which is not, there's nothing, that's not her job. So there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> but <laughs> There's just certain things where I'm like, okay, don't forget that you like this part to be here instead of here. So I'm just fighting through that. Okay, I'm doing skirt assembly. <laughs> and I am just attaching the side panels to the like center front panel, kind of. The two big pieces to the little piece. However, she's all, um, figure out how high up you want your slit to go. And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> What's standard? <laughs> so <laughs> I'm just gonna sew up one side and then measure uh, on that side of my body, but I know I want the slit to stop around like mid thigh. You know, I want the drama of the slit. Basically, I was gonna make it go higher, and I was like, you don't, you don't need her hanging out, saying hello to people. You just need it to do what you needed to do. Hello, friends. I kind of forgot I was shooting a video. <laughs> I was about to finish this dress, <laughs> then I was like, wait, this is for YouTube. <laughs> Anyway, hey, um, so a week has passed. That's why I forgot. It's not like I don't care anymore, but where did I put it? It's right here. I sewed up both uh, seams on the skirt, added the slit in. I just looked up another video to see how long she made her slit. She made it 12 inches down and I liked it that way. So I was like, all right, cool. Um, and I have pinned the bodice to the skirt. So I'm going to attach that. I'm just gonna sew it on. And then the lining's still loose. And now pop the zip in. Yes. Oh, and then I also need to sew 
I um, because it's rayon I need to I am so excited <laughs> I need to like let it and it's like a half circle skirt I need to let it hang in order to let you know let it hem correctly it's already started to like become uneven and like so I can trim it correctly and I bought something <laughs> that will really help in that process it's behind you hold on are you ready I now own a dress form. <laughs> I now own a dress form. I have not named it yet. I've, I'm told that's a thing the girls do. Um, I had to pat her a little bit. She has on a bra so she can accurately reflect my boobies. But she is here and I love her. <laughs> so I'm gonna let it hang on her tonight and then I can hem it tomorrow. I am gonna, when I actually drape, I am gonna take the tank top off, but it does have two tank tops on, just because I felt like doing that. And um, it has a bra, and then I stuffed the bra in it. And I got an adjustable one, just because I got an adjustable one, just instead of um, one with my exact measurements, because my body is changing so much with uh, how much I work out. And so I, did, I don't, I didn't want to buy one in my body, not be those measurements anymore. Like I bought shorts, two weeks ago and they don't fit because my butt's grown. So <laughs> I was like, maybe, maybe adjustable one's the way to go. But yeah, it has a little hem thing, like a, like a hem marker on the bottom right there. So that's how she gonna get hemmed. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, the zip is in and she is done, y'all. <laughs> I'm just letting it hang so that the hem can get leveled. I can already see some spots I need to trim it. But once the hem has evened out, I hung it last night, then I will trim it and hem it. And then it's done. It came out so good. I'm so proud of this one. Four twalls, y'all. Four twalls. <laughs> okay, the next time you see me, I will be wearing the dress. I tried it on last night and it is dreamy, that fabric. <laughs> I need to work with Rayon more often. <laughs> so if you like this video, please make sure to subscribe and please give me a like, it really helps me out. Just helps uh, project the video to more people and share my channel with more people so our community can grow. And if you wanna see sneak peeks of anything, make sure you follow me on Instagram. But that's it for today and I'll see you all next time, bye.